That's the whole goat leg right there. They're grilling all the lobsters out here. This is no joke. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I am out here in downtown Los Angeles because I'm gonna be checking out one of the hottest street food markets that you can find in LA. I am here at the Smorgasburg at the Row. This is the biggest recurring open air food market that you can find in LA. I heard that they have 100 shops here on Sundays. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna be trying some great food today. I'm gonna be trying some lobsters, gonna be trying some fried chicken, gonna be trying some tacos, and a whole bunch of other great stuff. So if you guys wanna see one of the greatest places that you can eat street food in LA, then you have come to the right episode. So stick all the way to the end because you don't wanna miss any of this amazing, epic street food that I'm gonna be showing you in this awesome street food tour. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And I am gonna get started with the first spot. Which shall it be? They only run on Sundays from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. This is the only day you could come to get this stuff. So you got a lot of options to choose from. I think the first one I'm gonna start with is Lobster Damas. Oh yeah, starting with the high-end stuff, here we go. So yes, they have fresh grilled lobsters here. Lobster nest is their most popular one. You can get half or you can get whole or you can get it without the garlic noodles. I think I'm gonna go all out and do that. Lobster nest. Wow. That's all the lobsters that's been boiled. So yes, they grill all the lobsters out here. It is the real deal. It is kind of like a backyard barbecue of lobsters. That is so amazing. This spot is so popular that they sell about 500 pounds of lobsters every day. Especially in the summertime, it sells very fast. So the lobsters on top of the garlic noodles with some butter spread, it looks like. Ooh, that looks so good. This whole thing is the lobster nest with the lobster and the garlic noodles and some of that butter dip on the side. This whole thing is about $41. You could get the lobster by itself, but everybody gets it with the garlic noodles. So I heard this is the way to go. Oh yeah, it has a flag on it too. So you just got to get that lobster out. There we go. Oh yeah, whole lobster tail right there. And into the butter it goes, always the way to go. These taste just as good as most lobsters I've had in restaurants. Wow, that is like one very fresh, smoky, toasty lobster. And then of course it has the butter too. Oh, it's like a complete experience. I'm so, so happy. <laughs> oh, that's good too. It's like very nice, chewy egg noodles. I do admit it's pretty expensive, $41. It's gonna be some of the most expensive street food that you're gonna eat in LA. But if you're willing to pay for it, it tastes very good. I do admit, one of the best street foods I think I've had in Los Angeles. I mean, how could it not be? It's lobster, grilled lobster. Lobster Domus, definitely gotta check it out. But then right next door, if you're into Filipino food, this is a barbecue spot. So I think I'm going to eat at this one. Wow, nice, good menu. Manila chicken barbecue, I heard is very popular. Mesquite grilled chicken for 16. I think I'm gonna get that, yes. And they also have, what the, Longanisa smash burger. I've never heard of that one before. I think I'm gonna try that. That is the famous Longanisa burger. Yeah, that patty is a Longanisa, just like in Filipino restaurants. See, that's a lot of barbecue chicken and they do grill all this fresh out here. See that right in there with the bun and everything. Ooh, man, that thing is super juicy. Obviously, you gotta have your barbecue when you go to street food too. How could you not? Hmm. That's a very uh, smoky, kind of sweet, a little bit salty too. Yeah, this is definitely Filipino food. Wow, that's pretty good. I feel like this Longanisa burger is something that you can get at Jollibee if they had it on the menu. It will be quite something, right? Hmm. 
I never even thought of the idea of making longanisa into a burger. I mean, is that even a thing? You guys comment if you know more about it than I do. But yeah, this is pretty enjoyable. I guess since I'm going the Asian route, might as well also try this bao spot, Mao Bao. Okay, this is the first time I'm trying bao on the streets of LA. Got a nice menu here. It looks like they got pork, uh, chicken, beef, lamb, and even impossible vegan. Vegan friendly, all right. Mix any six pieces for $15. It's pan fried on the bottom, so what you're gonna get is something that's soft, but then also crispy at the same time. It's a perfect balance. It is. Yep. And they're not soupy on the inside, so they're not gonna drip all over yet. Okay. I got a little bit of everything, including like the beef and the lamb. Look at the colors. Isn't that something I don't think I've ever seen baos that look like this before? Hmm. Tastes just like something out of a Chinese restaurant. Mm hmm Inside is, this one has the pork filling. It tastes like pork. So the outside has like a thin type of uh, bread texture. That's a little bit crispy because I think it's been uh, pan fried. And I think this orange colored one is the beef, which is always safe. So juicy too. This is really good stuff. Yeah, you definitely need to get these, these bows. These, I think these are some of the best street foods I've had in LA. I mean, not just for the fact that it's Asian, but it just tastes so good though. It seems like I'm pretty much eating all the food that's like on this side. And this one also looks pretty good too. Uh, chimilir, which is Korean style fried chicken. It's not just here in Smorgasburg, so they do have a physical location as well. Ooh, yeah, here we go, Koreatown. And I think that these are the buns that are being toasted on this grill for the chicken sandwich. Well, that's always a good way to make chicken sandwich, some toasted buns. And that huge piece just goes right over it, nice. Some uh, pickles, pickle cabbage. It looks like that's uh, okay. Two of some of the best sellers, we got the K Chicken Burger. These are two pieces that are stacked up with their house special dry rub, which is also on the french fries. And these are their chicken nuggets with the yum yum sauce, which is some sort of a gochujang. That's always pretty good. Yep, see more of that gochujang on the side. You got kimchi, Thousand Island dressing. Here's another bestseller too. This is the dokboki, which is rice cakes with a yum yum sauce on top of it. Wow, it's a beast. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Let's try. Mm. Wow. Wow, that, that dry rub is kind of sweet. But the chicken is so tender though. Ooh, this is a really filling sandwich. Okay, this one looks a little bit more manageable for my mouth. Mmm. Wow, oh, that's a good snack. It's also really garlicky too. The sauce is not that spicy, so you guys don't have to worry. That dokboki looks pretty crazy too. Look how sauced up it is. Mm. I think that dokboki is fried. Kind of tastes like it. Again, another really good snack that you can have here. That chimilir. I'm telling you, this place is so, so big. Wow, you can definitely spend all day here. Now I'm gonna be switching gears and I'm gonna be trying the Goat Mafia. They specialize in goat. This place is the goat spot, so a lot of people get stuff like the Goat Trio or Birria Trio sounds pretty good too, but I think I'm gonna go with a sampler, which is Birria, Goat Taco. You get Fish Taco, Cabrito Taco. You see, today only, limited. Yep, they actually grilled the goat out here. I believe that this is a baby goat because it's pretty small. Oh, they grill this for about two hours out here and then it all goes into the taco. And it looks like they also fresh press their tortillas too, which is always a good thing. I think most taco spots actually do these days in LA. And it goes right onto that grill. That's the broth that comes from the goat. Mix it in there to make it very saucy, very soupy. So yes, birria is uh, goat meat. That's the authentic way to do it. So the cabrito is the baby goat, and that's the leg. 
Oh man, that's crazy. Here's the $19 sampler, which comes with the fish tacos. You got the consomme and then the birria taco, which is goat meat. That's the authentic version. And the cabrito, which is young goat. And I heard it's supposed to taste different from the adult goat. Maybe, uh, should I begin with the fish tacos? I heard it's very popular here, even though it's a goat spot. Oh, that's so good. That fish has been so perfectly fried. It's actually kind of a tropical tasting taco. That's like the most perfect fish taco I think I've had. And it's been a while since I've had the authentic birria with the goat meat because most of the time you would find places that serve it with the beef because a lot of people like beef better, I guess. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Wow, that meat is like so tender. Tender and so well seasoned too. Now goat, if it's made right, it's not supposed to have like that really nasty gamey flavor. This one is more of like a clean tasting type of goat, but with a really delicious consomme broth over it. But then the cabrito is something that they have special today because they roasted that whole baby goat out there. Now this is the first time that I've had cabrito tacos. Mm, wow, it does taste different. That is so interesting. So I think this one is kind of, uh, it's not as melt in your mouth. I feel that there's a little bit more of a chewiness to it. And I knew the texture was gonna be different because this baby goat has been fed on milk for about 30 days. So I guess that changes the way the meat's supposed to taste. But yeah, this actually tastes pretty good on its own too. I mean, me personally, I think I'm more into the uh, birria taco, but this one also, if they have it here, you should get it because you're not gonna find it too often. Guys, this is Juan right here. He's the owner here at Goat Mafia. So look out for him for some awesome goat tacos. And right next to Goat Mafia is a super popular spot called Evil Cooks. This is a place that everybody goes to here at Smorgasburg. So I'm gonna try it. When I say that Evil Cooks is popular, I mean it. Uh, they're pretty much sold out of everything from what I heard. Oh man, I missed it. Oh, I'm so sad but at least they still have uh, the dessert tacos here, which is something very unique. Churro cheesecake taco. Now that is an innovative taco dish. Has anybody ever had anything like this before? Certainly not me. See, what did I tell you? Super creative, huh? The left one is the flan taco with some of the coconut shreds on top. And the right one is the churro with the cheesecake taco with some strawberries. Oh, nice. And I do have to tell you that it's kind of challenging to find seats to eat around here. So if you can't find it, you're just gonna have to eat it standing up. Or maybe you have to go behind one of these little um, quiet spots in the back in order to enjoy your food, which is where I'm at right now. Mmm. Wow, it's good. I think in many ways it kind of tastes like a flan inside of a crepe. Almost something like that. Oh, it's minty too. Have some uh, mint shreds over it. But then just as equally fascinating is this one, the churros with the cheesecake. I'm so excited. Oh, this is pretty, this is crazy. This is crazy, wow. wow. It's like you get some really fresh, crispy churros inside with the cheesiness of the cheesecake and the tortilla on top. Okay, you guys need to get this one. I'm sold. This is, I think, one of the best things I've had here at this Smorgasburg so far. So guys, this is Alex. He's the owner here at Evil Cook. So look out for this man when you come to this awesome spot. Oh yeah. It is four o'clock and they are pretty much packing up and ready to go. But yeah, you pretty much get the idea. This is a lot of good food spots here at Smorgasburg, which is one of the most popular places to be in Los Angeles. Sundays, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Don't miss it, guys. It's gonna be quite an event. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. You know what to do, give me a like, 
give me a subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next sweet adventure.